I am Peter Hinton, and I'm the director of The Taming of the Shrew. What intrigues me about this play is I love this play because it is so contentious. Um, there's a lot of debate about the play and what happens to Kate and Petruchio in it. And it's also very popular. And I think that line between its popularity and its controversy make it perfect subject and material for theater. Um, you know, what's gonna make this production, I think, maybe different than other productions is, um, and a lot of times when the, sh the play is done, um, uh, there's a sort of wink that happens to the audience at the end that Kate's speech of submission to her husband is handled like something she does for his benefit. And in this production, we're really going to look at its origins as a play from the early 1590s and what a marriage meant in that time. It's an age where values like moderation and balance are held in higher regard than they are now. And it's not about the sublimation of Kate's will, but about her finding balance in the world and in her husband too. So I think it will continue to be very a uh, provocative show, but also uh, restore a lot of the comedy uh, of the play. And by comedy, I don't just mean uh, the laughs and gags that go along the way, but um, uh, a world in which um, that ends in a wedding, that ends with harmony, that ends with some hope about the future. The first day of rehearsal for the director is like, it's my opening night. It's my first time meeting the company and sharing the ideas of the production with them. And um, it's a very honeymoon kind of period because it's all about possibility and potential. So we've come in and we've surrounded the rehearsal room with images and pictures and research from the period, writings about the play, and we've been doing a lot of uh, discussion and work on Puritans in the time. And it's, uh, they're very interesting because we think of Puritans uh, as being um, sort of dour and uh, they don't like music, they don't like songs, they don't, no cakes and ale kind of people. And the Puritans of the 1590s were really um, progressive and uh, looking for equality amongst men and women, equality in marriage. And so we've been looking at historical documents that surround the play and inform our production.